Welcome to Harper Valley Farm, where we started with a one acre property with just a couple of goats and learning to be self-sufficient. But with all our ups and downs, we are now back at our family farm, or shall I say, my parents' property, where we have doubled in size with our sheep and goats and everything else, where we are learning to homestead and be more self-sufficient. Follow us as we document our real and raw homesteading journey. Well, hello everybody. Today we are gonna be post-pounding and getting together a pen for the boy pigs because well, they need a new pen now. So we're gonna get on that today and hopefully we can get this pen done within a couple days. <laughs> Getting a little frustrated because we're all going in crooked. We got this one, this one, and that one. That one's super crooked too. We got three in. the post in so now we just need to do bottom rails and get the fencing up I'm tired. My hair's a mess. But I am done this part. <laughs> so I got all the poles in on the bottom. They're all nailed in. This is so the pigs, when they come in, they can't lift it up. We are going to be putting a hot wire as well along the whole bottom, but this is just in case. So the whole entire area all around in there, all the way into here is done for the bottom. So now we will put the wire up and then do the corners. Okay. 
All right, so this is our redneck tensioning for the fence. So we got two pieces of two by six with a strap on Nice and tight now. Gotta lift it up a little bit and staple her in. to the house to try to get the rest. That wasn't much. <sighs> so it has been a couple days. We got everything done. We worked late in the night to get this all ready. And as you can tell, this is all nice and grassy. Hi boys. They rooted it all right up already, but they are super happy. <laughs> there we go. Nice big pen for them. It's quite large actually. <laughs> so thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.